What is a great example of a necessary evil? The ability for the human body to feel pain. As exploitable as it is. Without this ability to feel pain the life expectancy would go way down because people often wouldn't realize something was wrong with their body until it was too late to do anything about it. Pain is the body's natural defense mechanism to protect itself against further injury. Thar air in you bag of chips stops the chips from getting crushed on delivery. We all wish there could just be more chips but you need that air. Chemotherapy A lawyer defending an alleged rapist, murderer, pedophile, etc. If we manage not to engage in a nuclear war, we will probably look back on the century or centuries we had them pointed at each other as being the single most important factor in not engaging in massive warfare every decade. People forget that the firebombing of Tokyo killed more people than Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. And it was nothing compared to Dresden. And that was comparable to Nanjing. Which was nothing compared to the Holocaust. Which was nothing compared to the Eastern Front. In which an estimated 30 million people died. Before that, we had WW1. Which set up the political and economic stage for WW2. Before WW1, we had various wars of colonialism that set up the imperial rivalries from Europe. After WW2, the entire world seemed to be teetering on the edge of another global conflict every decade that was only truly staved off by the possibility that the entire human race would be annihilated if such an event occurred. People on every continent have engaged in brutal wars ever since. But the specter of global war and the potential for nuclear holocaust has tempered these conflicts immensely. If we manage to outgrow the need to be pointing a gun at each other's heads, our great-great-grandchildren might think of us as having been silly. But they should have an appreciation that their peace is because we came close to ending it all. Backslash. Edit. Dresden actually had far fewer deaths than Tokyo. If you don't experience sitting down and being humbled, you're all the more likely to not only let success go to your head but to take things for granted. D&D &D villains. Hard to run a decent campaign without one or two of them. Edit. Thanks for the award. I used to run a home game with close friends and family so luckily I never had that problem player. Or a murder hobo party but never say never. Farting, it stinks and it's embarrassing but we'd be in constant agony without it. Sadness. You can't be happy all the time. It isn't healthy. You have to take the good with the bad. You learn to cope and move on from it. There was a camera plane called, Necessary Evil, that flew the Hiroshima atomic bombing mission. Appropriate name? I don't know. But in the Engineer Trilogy. A great low fantasy series in a weird renaissance medieval mashup world. They call their war department the Department of Necessary Evil. Which I always loved. Grin. Not buying from puppy, kitten mills. If you don't buy them, they're going to have a terrible quality of life, if they survive at all. But if you buy them, you're actively paying for the continuation of the breeding and putting more animals in that situation. It's a tricky situation and really tragic either way. Killing in self-defense, to not be killed. Putting our pets to sleep, we're taking them out of pain but it's so hard to say goodbye. Hate to say it, but animal testing. No matter how many simulations we run, products still need to be tested before they're sold. Especially medicines. Taxes. Government. Freedom is beneficial for any society. But in order to function it needs some overseeing structure. Otherwise it descends into anarchy. 
which is associated with chaos for a reason. War. War is hell. But if we all rolled over and let oppressors walk all over us, that would be far worse. A lamb can't kill a lion by behaving like a lamb. To protect your country against war is to war. Walmart. Like, I get the whole big box thing pushing out smaller people. I really, really do. But when you're living on 850 a month you can't go to that mom and pop grocery store and spend 20 dollars for a gallon of milk and two loaves of bread. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.